Okay, we've got here the very heart of a Triumph T120 RV engine and um, I've just had the crankshaft back after the big end journals have been reground and uh, I'm setting things up ready to start putting things back together. I've got new big end shells there, the sludge trap is nice and clean and all the components are ready to go. I've got the conrods labelled as they were when they came out of the engine. But I've just noticed um, here we've got this conrod, the uh, drive side one, with the two punch marks, one in the conrod and one in the big end cap, lined up as they would be. On uh, you know, they have to go on the same side, facing the same way. Um, and I just had a look in here, and I can see that the tabs, the locating tabs, which help top, stop the, uh, well, not so much stop the shells from spinning, but give them a good fit and basically hold them together while you're assembling things and keep things steady and on opposite sides we've got one will face forwards and one will face backwards on this conrod and yet the punch marks line up and on the timing side conrod we've got the punch marks lined up but um, both notches in the big end shells are facing the same way rather than one each way. Now usually when I've seen them they've been like this both on the same face um, but I think what I'm going to do here uh, for whatever reason the conrods came out of this engine with the caps this way round and uh, you know with the dots on the same side as each other and obviously one big end has run with one tang facing forward and one back while the other big end has run with the tangs both sort of facing the same side so I think I'm going to let things continue like that because obviously it ran to a certain mileage and uh, successfully put a load of miles on before wearing itself out and there was nothing dramatic happened so I think I'll just put things back as they were before I'm certainly not going to at this stage flip one of the caps round so the dots don't line up. I think it's more important really that the dots line up on them. Um, it may be that there was a mistake made at the factory or something's happened somewhere along the line. The crank had been reground uh, before this one so someone else may have done something. I don't know but it obviously ran successfully for quite some time like that so I'm not going to take any chances or gamble. I'll put things back the same way round as they were before, but we'll have a reground crank with new shell bearings in it, so um, that'll be a dramatic improvement and a complete refresh for the bottom end.